Let's find the steric number for NO3 minus. This is the nitrate ion. To do this, the first thing that we need to do, we need a valid Lewis structure. So this is our valid Lewis structure right here for the nitrate ion. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video on how to draw the Lewis structure. So for the steric number, we want to look at the central atom, the nitrogen, and we want to look at the number of atoms bonded to that central atom, to that nitrogen. So we have one, two, three atoms bonded to the central nitrogen atom. Then we want to look at the number of lone pairs on the nitrogen. All of these electrons right here, they're involved in chemical bonds. So these are all bonding pairs of electrons. We don't have any lone pairs here on the central atom in the nitrate ion. That makes the steric number for the nitrate ion 1, 2, 3, because we have three atoms bonded and no lone pairs. We can use that to find the molecular geometry for the nitrate ion. Let's do that. So we said the steric number for NO3 minus was three and there aren't any lone pairs. These are all involved in chemical bonds. Since we have no lone pairs, zero lone pairs here, we have a trigonal planar molecular geometry for the nitrate ion. This is Dr. B looking at the steric number for NO3 minus. Thanks for watching.